Hey, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with the bookmoji challenge. I am not 100% sure who created this tag. I do know that Haley from Haley's Bookland and Jesse from Jesse the Reader have both done some sort of twist on this challenge, so I'm not 100% sure who came up with it first, but I'll leave both of them linked down below. Basically, I asked you guys on Twitter to send me a bunch of emojis. Y'all came through, so thank you, and I'm going to be pairing books to the emojis that you guys sent in. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first emoji that you guys sent that I chose was a tree emoji, and this is actually because the book I'm reading right now is set in the woods. It is Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. The book follows Nora Walker, who everybody thinks is a witch. She lives up near the Wicker Woods. One day while she's in the woods, she finds a boy named Oliver who has been missing for two weeks. And it's basically the story of her discovering some secrets that he's hiding and like that kind of thing. But I only have about 20 pages left of it. I'm probably gonna end up giving it a 3.5 or a 4 depending on how it ended. It was like super predictable, like I was able to like call the big twist that happened, but I still really enjoyed it. It's very atmospheric, so we're pairing it with the tree because the majority of it takes place in the woods. The next emoji, actually a lot of you guys sent this one in, it is the detective emoji, and I chose An Unwanted Guest by Sherry LaPena. This is basically a whodunit mystery. The book follows about 11 main characters. Nine of them decide that they are going to take a weekend getaway up at the Mitchell's Inn, which is a family-owned resort. When they arrive, the cottage is hit by this huge snowstorm and they all get snowed in. The power ends up going out and then the bodies start piling up. So it's basically, like I said, a whodunit mystery and you're trying to figure out who is the killer among these 11 people. The book has major clue vibes. I'm pretty sure I guessed every single person at least once during the reading of this story, you literally have no idea. I wasn't able to call the ending about who the killer was, which I really liked, but I was able to call like a twist at the end. So I don't know, it was a pretty good whodunit mystery, definitely matches with the detective emoji. The next emoji you guys sent in was the lollipop emoji, and I'm pairing it with The Best Lies by Sarah Liu because like lollipop on the cover, it just makes sense. The cover of this doesn't really make sense to the story. I still really like the cover. I just think it's really pretty, even though it's a thriller book. You wouldn't think it's a thriller book from looking at this. At least I don't. I think it's like a summer contemporary book, but that's just me. I mean, if you didn't read The Obsession Can Poison Even the Sweetest of Friendships part of it, then it kind of looks like a contemporary in my opinion. It basically follows a girl named Remy who is best friends with a girl named Elise. She's also in a relationship with a boy named Jack. One night she goes to Elise's house, Jack shows up, and then Elise shoots him in the chest and it's either and then she has to decide whether or not it was self-defense or something more cynical, and it's like the story of that. So definitely not a contemporary, but a really good book anyway, so pairs it with the lollipop, because lollipop. The next emoji you guys sent in was the wine glass, and I'm pairing that with The Arrangement by Robin Harding, because the main character of this book spends a lot of the time really drunk, which, like, it makes sense for her downward spiral that she takes, but it, you know, alcoholics anonymous was this book, honestly. I did really like this book though. It's about a sugar baby who becomes obsessed with her sugar daddy and then death occurs. That's all I'm gonna say. It was really good. And then the final book that I have is kind of a cliche to choose this one for this emoji, but I really like the book, so I'm sorry not sorry. It's the gay flag emoji and I'm choosing Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So cliche, everybody would pick this book for that emoji, but it is really good book. I'm sorry. And like it, it goes with the emoji. If you guys don't know, which I'm sure you do because like literally everybody has read this book, it follows the Prince of Wales and the son of the president and they have like a frenemies kind of relationship going on which turns into a relationship relationship and it is just a great time. I really liked it. So read it if you have not already. All right, everybody. So that was my book emoji challenge. I think this is round three on my channel. If you guys liked it and want more, let me know down below. Also, let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!